Hi, I'm Richard Tang, founder and chairman of Zen Internet. Uh, I did a video a couple of months ago about our solar array, which was nearly ready to be switched on. Well, it got switched on at the end of September 2022. It's now November, so we've got our first full month of performance data from the array. So I'm doing this video to let you know how well it's performed. And based on that performance, how long do I think it will take for it to pay for itself? Now, what we've got here is about 675 panels. Each panel is a 370 watt peak panel. So if you multiply those together, what we've got here is a 250 kilowatt peak uh, array. Um, now, 250 kilowatt peak means that if every one of these panels is in the Sahara Desert, facing directly at the sun, then that array is going to generate 250 kilowatts. But hang on a minute, we're in Rochdale. It's, Oct it's October. And as you can see, the panels are facing in a variety of different directions. So you think, OK, maybe that's pretty bad news. Well, one weekend towards the end of October, I was looking at the app to see how much the array was generated. And I was really pleasantly surprised because on that particular weekend day, towards the end of October, our array got up to 133 kilowatts of power generated. So that's over half of its peak capacity in Rochdale towards the end of October with the panels pointing in a variety of different directions. So I was really uh, pretty amazed actually about that. Um, if you look over the whole month of October, it generated 10 and a half thousand kilowatt hours of energy. So that's 10 and a half megawatts of uh, megawatt hours of energy. And I thought, OK, so if October is an average month for the whole year, obviously with more energy generated in the summer, less in the winter, then multiply that by 12, you're up to 126 megawatt hours for the year, which is about two thirds of what the system was specced to generate. Now, of course, October is after the autumn equinox, so days are shorter than average. So actually, October is probably not an average month. So what I did is I went online to the EU's photovoltaic geographical information system to see how much for this particular location in Rochdale should be generated um, in October. And it's just an estimate because it's based on panels facing uh, in the, all in the optimal direction. But according to that model, 6.2% of your annual generation should happen in October. OK, so if 10 and a half megawatt hours is 6.2 of annual, then that would make our annual expectation 170 megawatt hours. And that's really good news because the system was spec'd to generate 189 megawatt hours in a year. So that's 90% of what we expect. And of course, it's only an estimate. And of course, the weather fluctuates month to month. So actually, that's brilliant news that, the, that so far, based on the first month, the array that we've installed looks like it's going to perform as it's spec'd out. So the next thing is, OK, what about payback? Because big question for all investments like this, how long is it going to take pay back? Um, and first of all, we're, we're lucky or fort fortunate that all the power that we generate here from the solar array, we use on site. So whatever we generate here is a direct saving on our electricity bill. Price of electricity today, I mean, it's really difficult to say with such volatility in the market at the moment. but. We, I used a, an average of 35 pence a kilowatt hour as a saving that we would make. So if we're going to save 35p a kilowatt hour with our 189,000 kilowatt hours per year, then we're going to save about 66,000 pounds a year on our electricity bill. Now, the installation itself, complete cost, £170,000 to install. So within three years, this should pay for itself. After six years, the financial return that we'll get is about the same 
as putting that £170,000 in a savings account with a compound interest rate of 15% per year. So financially, actually, it's a really, really good investment. But not only is it a great investment financially, it's a great investment environmentally because, of course, this is now contributing to the UK's renewable energy generation. Um, so absolutely big plus from the financial side, big plus from the environmental side. And we're actually chomping at the bit to start building phase two. So there's more space on the roof that we can put panels. We're looking at phase three, which is potentially building over the car parks. And we're also looking at a potential phase four, which would be to find uh, a local site nearby, a greenfield site, where we could uh, really build a, a much bigger array. So hope you found that useful in terms of a real life example of a solar panel array in the northwest of England, in Rochdale, um, what it's doing for us. And what I'll do is uh, as I've got more updates, I shall post them up on uh, my channel. So thanks a lot for watching.